Hi there, and take a look at this infinitely scrolling background. Lovely, isn't it? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an infinitely scrolling background. Now, there are many reasons why you would want one of these in your game. You might have clouds in the background, constantly and tranquilly passing by. Or you might want to make it look like the player's on a train that's continually moving. Or maybe you're making an infinite runner where the background has to keep on moving to make it look like the player's in motion. And these are just a small sampling of the many reasons you might want this. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can take any texture you like and make it scroll infinitely with just a tiny little bit of code. It really is so easy to set up. My name is Alan Thorne. I'm from bindy.biz. I'm a games developer with 20 years experience and I want to help you make games inside the Godot engine. I'm delighted you've joined me on this tutorial. So let's see how to make infinitely scrolling backgrounds inside Godot. So here inside the Godot editor, we have this pretty simple 2D scene. And I've created it just by adding this sprite object here. This is going to be the texture we're going to make scroll infinitely. Now I've added this just by dragging and dropping the image into the viewport. Alternatively, you could have clicked on the add node to add a new sprite node and specified the texture right here in the inspector directly in the texture slot. It really is that easy. Now to get started at creating an infinitely scrolling texture, I need to configure the texture itself. By default, textures imported into Godot don't have the right setting enabled to make them scroll infinitely. Let's do that. I'm going to select the texture here inside the file system panel, move to the import tab, and then scroll down to the flag section. And for the repeat field, I'm going to change that from disabled to enabled, and then choose re-import. Now it re-imports and updates in a flash, but that has now configured my texture to scroll infinitely. It still isn't doing that yet, as you can see from the viewport, but the texture has been configured to make that possible. Now in the second step, we need to write a small shader for this texture. It's really easy to set up. Let me show you how. I'm going to move to the inspector and move down to the material field here. First of all, make sure actually from the scene tab that your background is selected. I'm going to move to the canvas item material section in the drop down, choose new shader material. When I do that, it creates a completely new shader, but the shader field by default is set to empty. I'm going to click in that drop down and choose new shader. And then left click in the shader to display the shader editor. Now you'll notice right away that Godot is so strict with us that from the very beginning, we have an error printed right down here at the bottom. So your chances of getting an error during this process is 100% because you can't ins instigate this process without getting an error. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to specify what type of shader I'm creating. So I'm going to write that by choosing shader type space and I'm going to be creating a canvas item shader here. And there I've created the first line. It takes a few seconds for Godot to think about it. But after it's thought about it, yes, aha, uh -huh, all is right with the world. The first line is correct. OK, let's add our new lines. Now, what I want to do is I want to control the direction that this texture is going to be able to scroll in so that if I want, I can move it left or right or up or down and just change that by a small setting here in the inspector. In addition, I want to be able to choose the speed that the texture scrolls at, how fast or how slow. Let's create two variables inside the shader editor to do that. I'm going to start by choosing uniform, vec2, and I'm going to name this direction. And it's going to start with the default direction of moving to the left. So that's going to be one on the x axis, moving to the right, I beg your pardon. I'm going to put a semicolon to complete that line. That's our first variable configured. Let's set up the second one. So that's going to be uniform float speed and it's going to be speed equals well I'm going to specify an initial value of 0.08 and then beneath that I'm going to write the fragment program itself 
This is going to happen every time the pixels within our texture are going to be drawn to the screen. So every time it needs to draw a section of our texture, the fragment program is going to be called to instruct Godot on what it should do. So here inside fragment, I'm going to choose color equals texture. I'm going to be determined by the texture here. Now for the first parameter, I'm going to, going to leave that as it is, just the default values. But in the second field, I'm going to adjust the UVs themselves. So I'm going to choose UV plus and inside this field, I'm going to access the direction parameter multiplied by the time to animate this. And then finally, multiplied by our speed here. So I'm going to set that up here. And actually, the one mistake slightly further up at line three, it's already alerted me to it, is I've used VEC here and it should be VEC2. Perfect. That has now been plugged in. And already, now that the code is valid, and we've put in our parameters, we have this texture scrolling to the left. That's great. I'm going to minimize the code editor here because I've set up my code to configure this to scroll. Now, the really great thing about this shader program here is that we can tweak the parameters from the scroll directly from the inspector. Let me show you how to set that up. I'm going to move to the inspector here and then move down to our shader section and expand the shader parameters. We can control the direction and the speed. So for example, if I wanted to make this scroll in the opposite direction, I can put in a value of negative one. Great. And I can also change the speed and make this two, for example, to really speed up scrolling in the other direction. Well, that's too far. So I'm going to restore this back and put that back to the right hand side to make it scroll in this direction. This is perfect. And this is really, really easy now because directly from the inspector, we can change these parameters. I can also make it scroll in the Y axis, for example. But notice that when I do that, that doesn't really work for this texture because it doesn't scroll or tile in the vertical direction. It's only intended, at least this texture, it's only intended to be scrolled horizontally. So I'm going to set that back to zero here to start scrolling this texture. And there you have it. It really is that simple. We created a fragment program to scroll our texture in any direction that we wanted. It's that simple to set up. So thank you for joining me. I've been Adam Thorne at bnd.biz. Please do stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more game development tutorials using Godot. See you next time.